All right, so um, yeah, I'm 20 years of age. I'm in my white void box, echoing alone. Nice. Uh, I have my outfit. Um, I'm not piss bored or anything. I just want. I just like doing these videos. So if I ever do make it to the, to the age of 30 or 40, uh, I can always look back see what my mindset was, see whether or not I'm cringing. Because if I'm not cringing to these videos, then I'm not making any progress whatsoever. So I like to look back and, you know, appreciate my, my, my I'm gonna be bored completely. Yeah, look at that, man. Hairline's going. That's what I'm saying, like when, when billionaires like Musk or Bezos have no hair whatsoever, you just, you know there's no cure. You know there's no cure at that point. I mean, Musk had to get a hair transplant, so. But yeah, you, you know there's no cure, and um, let me try to be up a bit. There we go. Uh, yeah, so, I don't know. It's, uh, I don't know what topics to talk about, but really this channel, this channel isn't, um, it's not about focusing on quality, it's just qu quantity. You, you can obviously tell that it's, a, it's a boring, Shit channel that uh, amounts to nothing. All right, so I just dropped my phone. That's great. Uh, my Pixel Seven Pro that came that I received two days ago. I just dropped it. That's my first drop. Uh, I mean, you know, I know it's gonna happen though. I don't know why I did that. I need to get a case though, man. Fuck says hey, man. I swear, if there is a crap on this, it'd be devastated. But yeah, this channel is um, primarily uh, just quantity. So I've been posting like five hundred plus random shit content. Um, just uh, It's this day in life, like the shit I was doing back then, you know, as a 20 year old. And I hope it's not the same experience at 30. Obviously, I still want to play video games. I still want to, um, you know, walk outside and that. But uh, primarily, yeah, it's just, it's just that. But, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Um, but if I had a question where I want to be in five years, um, I hope it's just, you know, ha happy and healthy. I know it's a basic answer. I mean, I don't know where I'm going to be in five years, but I just hope that version of me exists, first of all. And yeah, it's just, just, just content because these days do go by. Each day could be our last. And, you know, when you're approaching that inevitable black void, you need to... You need to understand, like, yeah, this shit is finite. This shit is finite. Uh, a lot of people delude themselves and they, they, they get jobs, they get uh, uh, kids, you know, they start remortgaging, they start prepping for their 50s and 60s and 70s and 80s. And, you know, life, life I don't think life lasts that long. I think uh, when, when, you're, when you're at 40, it's pretty much, uh, when you're at 50, it's pretty much game over. It literally is, like, 40, even 40. Like, I'm 20 years of age. And I'm, I should be in my absolute peak, dominant prime. Maybe it's just my mindset. Maybe I'm being ungrateful because there are people that are actually like uh, tremendously worse than me. But I just, I don't know if 30, 40, like having kids as well. This is, this is another thing. It's like, like no one's having kids nowadays. And, it, and it's, uh, it makes a lot of sense. It makes a lot of sense. A lot of people are cussing and, you know, uh, demoralizing those that are not choosing to have kids and I don't know I think it's silly I think it's a silly thing I think people should be more open to having kids and they should um I don't know it's just it's just, it's just a silly thing like there is no reason to have to bear kids though like it, it you have to understand why is the population collapsing you know why is it collapsing it's because there's just no there's no value there the, these people are providing, you know, like, look at me, like, what am I, or, like, all these people in the comments section, whether it's on YouTube or TikTok or Insta, like, these comments, you know, they're real people that did primary school, secondary school, college, breakfast, lunch, dinner, breakfast, lunch, dinner, like, their parents, for 19, 20 years, you know, feeding them, bathing them, dressing them, um, buying birthday presents, Christmas presents. Like this shit is expensive. This shit is, 
insanely expensive. Um, yeah, I don't know if it's worth it. I, I truly don't. I mean, I could name a billion reasons as to why you shouldn't have kids. I can, I can name like a good hunch, but I can't think of why you shouldn't. The only reason why I probably would is because of what my future self, like, would 30 year old me regret not having him sooner when I was healthier. That's, that's really it. That's the only, that's the only reason you could, you should have kids. It's expensive. Not only money, but time, energy. It's a lot of stress as well. Like it truly is a, a shit ton of stress being there present, playing games, watching movies, disciplining them, motivating them. That's a lot. That's a lot to, that's too much. And yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it's uh, worth it or not. But yeah, that's my, uh, but I mean, there's only one solution to that. And you know, when you get rid of the, the, the only solution to civilization collapse is, well, why are people not having kids? Because of time, energy, and money, right? It's expensive to buy all these things, food, shopping, etc., etc. Your time, sitting there, movies, watching, all that. And, you know, energy, right? We're, we're getting older, we're getting weaker. So the only solution to all of that and to stabilize the population is really just AI. Like it really is. If you can replicate a robot that able to be with your kids like these devices for example like most of my life the reason why it's best to have a kid now is because there's ipads there's tiktok there's instagram there's fortnite minecraft call of duty there's netflix there's disney plus there's google there's that this is the perfect time to have a kid because back back those days bro you had to be with your kid entertaining that thing 24 7 you have to make sure he had a job, he was outside in the neighborhood. That's why everyone was hanging out in the neighborhood. Do you know what I mean? Because they were just, they were shit, they were bored at home. And then the mum was worrying, was like, oh my God, uh, like don't be, you know, be careful. Then the mum's worrying like, oh my God, be careful out there. Now they're worrying what, they're, what you're doing online, right? But it's not as severe, like I wouldn't, I don't care my kids on the internet, right? Uh, versus being outside at, like at this time um, it's it really it really is robot right but then it's like well we've got these robots and they're taking care of our kids and it's still declining so is there really the AI I think it is I think I think if you keep going in this direction to the point where they 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 they're, they're being looked after if they want a PS5, it wouldn't cost money, right? Because the reason why a PS5 costs money is because you and I, we work. We work to make that product, that PS5 cost money. So you, you need to um, make everything for free. Like, there's going to be a, a shit ton of abundance. And the world, I think, will be on a UBI. I don't know how all that's going to work, but I want all my kids to have a PlayStation 10, 20, whatever it is. Uh, you know, the latest and greatest iPhone. Um, and it shouldn't be birthday presents, Christmas presents. There shouldn't be starvation. There shouldn't be poverty. And I don't think there will be. Um, I don't think there will be lonelyism, right? Because a lot of people are lonely. They don't want, they don't want to, um, they don't want to venture out. But if, like, if I had, if I had, a, if I had a, a nanny, right, a super nanny, that is for free. That's incredibly like just the, the I'm replicating myself. Like if I could clone myself, have him here, take care of 20 of my children, discipline him the way I want my kids to be disciplined, right? They view me as me and I'm out there partying or working or whatever. I wouldn't be working, but whatever, I'll be doing whatever. Then obviously I'm gonna do that. Right, so all I need to do is clone myself in order to have a hundred kids. That that's in summary. To summarize this whole thing, is just to solve 
To solve the population collapse crisis, you clone yourself to have a, that self 100 kids. Because I can't take care of one kid. I can't take care of two kids. I can't, I can't, it's too difficult. That's way too difficult. And the solution is that, is why well, I don't have to take care. Right, you take a look at Musk, Bezos, all these people. Right, they're not with, like Elon. He has 10 kids, he's not with none of them. He probably visits them once a week, an hour. Bro, he has like a two million dollar super nanny that's perfect in every aspect, taking care of all his kids. And you could say, well, that's the whole point of a wife, right? That's the whole point of a wife. But even women, they they don't, they don't want to do that no more, and rightfully so, right? It gets tiring, it gets bored. They want to focus on their careers. They want their status. They want. They don't want to copy and paste the same thing that's been occurring. Just mum, mum, mum. They want a new. They want to embody a different identity. They want to be that CEO. They want to be that um, software engineer or whatever it is. They want to be bigger and better. They don't want to be a stay at home mom that disciplines their kid, cooks and cleans all day, every single day. They're bored of that shit. So it makes sense as to why, you know, they, they, they themselves don't want to take care. But um, I don't know, I just think it's, uh, I think the only solution to it is, is truly just AI, you know, AGI, AI, whatever. Um, yeah, like, and especially in, in care homes as well, all these eight-year-olds, all these super, these, these nannies, right, and these, these grandpas and these grandmas, you know, pe people don't want to be wiping their ass and feeding them porridge all day. They want to be out there living their life, but because there's paper attached to it they're they're persevering in there and then they're doing that so yeah agi will solve that right robots will take care of your grandma and your grandpa of your kids and if you don't want them to take care you could just turn them off and do it yourself if you're that bored because that, like it, it's not fun t taking care of children it's not fun rocking your baby side to side like yeah there's these moments where you look at it and it's like wow that's my child oh my god and you're playing a video game with it. Oh wow, we're having. But well, that's that's just that's just like one minute. You're not you're not thinking in base reality. But man, I've spoken a lot, but I just I don't know. I don't know if I want to have kids. It really is. Um, like if I am gonna have kids, it's it's got to be now. It's it's got to be now. It has to be this year. It can't be thirty because that's the everyone's having it at thirty or forty. You know, no one's having it. Like my mum uh, had uh, someone at 16, uh, 18. And dude, like if I have a kid now, and that kid's t uh, 30, I'll be 50. And that's fine, right? That's fine. But if I have a kid at 30 or 40, I'll be 60, 70. I'm, bro, I'm, dead, I'm dead by then. You know, I'm, I'm dead by then. Your body, unless there's cure aging, yeah, you could say cure and aging would, would help, right? And, and people are also saying like, you know, if you're living, like people who are living longer and healthier and more educated are having less kids on average. Y that is true, people are, but you have to realize that's just occurred now. And it's gen like that generation, that statistic, it's still occurring. So it hasn't, like, if I was to live to 200, right, and, yeah, I was to live to 200, versus my, like, in those 200 years, I'm going to have 10, I'm going to have 10 kids, probably 20 kids, 30 kids, do you know what I mean? Like, that's another thing as well, is like health, like, the reason why no one's having kids is because of health, they, they, they're like, fuck, I'm going to die tomorrow, I'm, even though we're living in the healthy, healthiest time possible, it's like, you know, life is so short. I want to do all these things. I want to play all these games, do all these TikToks and Netflix. And there's there's so much to do more than ever nowadays. And a lot of it costs money, right? You want to go to Ibiza, you want to go to Dubai, you want to buy that Lamborghini, you want to buy that Rolex. A lot of it costs money. And, you know, getting money nowadays is insanely hard. Getting your house 20 years ago was insanely easy. It was like 100,000, 200,000. Now it's tripled, quadrupled. You know, and it's good. It's I am happy that it's that way. 
because it's it means that we demand more innovation, we demand more talent, we demand more hard work from society, and that's good. That that allows systems to be in place. Um, yeah, like it's it's important to understand that healthcare is another issue. Like if I were to live to two hundred. I probably would have 10, 20 kids within that duration, right? Now, at first, I probably want to live my 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, and then up, you know what I mean? But the reason why people, I, I, I really don't think that argument's valid, that whole, like you take the Africans, right? They're dying on 20 or 30 people in Africa. They will have six or seven kids. Most of those kids will die, right? The reason why they're having that many kids is because they're like, they realize 80 years is fucking, it re, it's really tough to hit 80 in Africa. Um, so they're, 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 when they're 20, they're, they're like 50 anyways. And they're pump, trying to pump out as many kids as they can because they realize how um, sh- short life is. And most of their kids are not going to live, right? My, my, it's like you have six kids. Three of them will die from a disease. Two of them will be um, handicapped or whatever, like wh- whatever it is. And you you're pretty much left back out with one kid again, two kids again. Three kids. Like this this is what I'm trying to say. And you know, yeah, like those two other kids probably won't even get to that old enough age to have kids themselves. So that whole that whole argument around. You know, when people are living longer, they're choosing to have less kids. They're not, they haven't lived yet. You have to wait till they get to 200 years of age or 150 years of age or 120 years of age or perfect health condition. Like if I knew I was going to be perfectly healthy, that I I could play football and go skydiving with my kids at 80 or 90, then of course I I will have kids. But because this body is slowly, slowly you know, going, fading, and there's so much I haven't explored yet. There's, it's so hard to get a job as well and to maintain that job as well. There's, there's no time to fit a kid. There's no time to fit. Do you see what I mean? Like, it's, it's, it's pointless. It truly is. Like, we're not in that future where healthcare is sorted, where robots could take care of your kids. But yeah, you have the phone, yeah, you have the PlayStation, and they kind of are already. But we're, they're taking care of us as well, right? I don't know. I don't. It is, a, it is a tricky topic. But I just feel like my solution is AI and healthcare, right? If I'm living longer, you know, I have robots to take care of them, then yeah, 100%. Like, you know, an education, like, this is another thing, like, you had to go to primary, you had to go to secondary, you had to go to college. I hope, and that's still a thing, even though you have YouTube, even though you have Google, like dude, the amount of, you have all these millions of billions of courses on the internet that is like, you know, charging you all this money and, and they have valuable information, but it's like, you can easily, like everything's happening on Zoom, everything's happening on, on video call. You don't need to be present in the classroom no more you know you don't need to be it and i understand like the reason why is because like what does that say oh sorry i can't read that um someone's messaged me but um the reason why they're not doing the get the reason why they're not getting rid of uh primary or secondary or college is it's literally because of um, well, it's a lot of money. There's a lot of money to be um, that we're going to be lost, you know. And when people like old people in charge, they don't change. This is what I understand from like Elon, Elon's philosophy. Like he says, we need old people to die so new ideas can conjure up. And it's true. Like these old people who are in charge, these governments, they're not. I don't know. They're not. Um, but I don't know why they just don't get rid of these systems that are in place. You know, you you talk, oh, but well, the whole world's going to be isolated. The whole world's going to be lonely. It's going to be the college, 
primary or in secondary and, and it's it's a place where we can make friends but most of the time it's a place where you conjure up depression anxiety you know body image issues um just all sorts of negative feelings because like your kids and kids are evil right they in teenagers especially especially with a day and age of all right, my video just cut out, but um, you get the point. I, I could speak for hours on end. I'm pretty sure I got cancelled as well in this video. And I could do a whole video on like cancel culture as well. I think it's a great thing. I think censorship is important. I don't think freedom of speech is... Uh, it, it's, I don't think it is a smart move. I don't think... I could, I could go hours on that. Because on, on that, um, I do want to debate. I want to see whether or not I'm right on that. Because I don't, I don't think I am, but I feel like I am. Um, but yeah, I like I um.